I'll give you a thumbs up when we're Good morning, everybody. Getting started a little bit early. Today is, what is it, Friday, April 19th, 2024. Let's get JJ on here. Hang on one second. There we go. JJ, you are on. Good, Good morning, morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. We're looking forward to a great day. We've got a great position inside the airfield. Um, we've got some wonderful people with us that have taught us more than I've learned in the last few years, in the last, what, hour? Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. And we've totally got some awesome. incredible aircraft coming in today, so it's going to be a great day. Thank you all for joining us. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. We're here uh, airside, of course, as we said, so we're going to bring you. They're starting a little bit later today. They said that the schedule's running just a little bit behind. They, we had some weather roll through earlier this morning, so uh, we're getting, getting started just a little bit later today. Uh, so as soon as they get started, we are positioned here kind of in the middle of runway 29 and 11. So we're going to get to see them just as they rotate, um, uh, take off and land here all day. So we're, you're in for a treat. So if you are here joining us, spread the word, share the stream on social media. Let everybody know that we are live. We're here a little bit early. As we see stuff, just even civilian aircraft, anything we see, we'll just show you from now until. But uh, welcome, everybody. Good to have each and every one of you. In just a second, we're going to have... Um, Coleman on here. Coleman is uh, Cameron. Oh, Cameron, I'm sorry. Is it Coleman? Coleman. Coleman. <laughs> We're close. We'll have Coleman on here in just a second. Uh, he's he's here with us as giving us the uh, the escort today to be able to be out here. And so we appreciate them and all the staff here at uh, Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Very grateful for this opportunity. I tell you what, it is just fantastic. It's uh, seeing it from one side, from the other side of the fence is one thing, but uh, watching from the from the uh, from this side, being here. It's just, it's just fantastic. So we're going to bring you all of this and more today. So we're going to, we're, uh, y'all are in for a treat. I will say that much. We're going to get to some of these comments here in just one second. We're going to uh, get to some of these comments. So good morning and welcome everybody. Good to have each and every one of you. JetSat Kentucky, welcome. Good morning to you. Ella Shockey watching JJ, watching her dad this morning. Good to have you, Ella. Thank you so much for uh, joining us. Chris with his camera. Good morning. We're going to kind of take it and roll with it as we go today. So everything's just kind of fluid, uh, the way things will pan out and play out. So we... Uh, we will uh, just kind of go with it and show you guys things as we see. We'll be here until about 4.30 this afternoon, which is when practice should wrap up. Connor, good morning. Airbus Chris, good morning. Good to have you. Jimmy Chambers, good morning. Glad 
Glad to see each and every one of you. Amsterdam Aviation YouTube, good to see you, Miss D. Good morning. Tyler Hatley, how are you doing? ATO Plane Spotting. Matthew Breckshot, good morning. Trying to get our uh, Thunder over Louisville. The lower thirds. MX Shrampy, good morning. Chris with his camera, thank you so much. Gifting five channel membership. Certainly do appreciate that awesome support. That is fantastic. Congratulations to those of you who were gifted a free month of membership. Welcome, Green Team Plane Spotting. Good to have you, Deborah Johnson. It is definitely colder. I don't have my thermometer on here. It is about 57 right now. It's going to warm up to the 60s. Uh, Jimmy Chambers says it was good to meet you yesterday, JJ. Jimmy, it was good to meet you, buddy. You're going to get great views from the cell phone lot as well. Green Team. Samantha McCarthy, good morning. Tyler Hatley celebrating five months of channel membership. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your continued support, Tyler. Says, hey, and how are you doing? Doing great. Doing awesome. Dane Hill, good morning. Stephanie Hutchinson, good morning. CJ Cotta. Roberta Gomez says, hi, Sam, working and lurking. Good to see you, Roberta. Hope you're having a great day. Tom B., good morning. Bear with me one second. We're still getting our last little bit of uh, setup here. So bear with me one second, you guys. It's going to take me just one second. Yeah, we're good. Oh, look at the Southwest. Check this out. <clears throat> oh, we just had Louisiana One is here. Actually, parked right behind us. So, yeah, while we, we were setting up, Louisiana One did uh, roll in. We didn't see it landing. We saw it roll in, but uh, well, hopefully we'll get to see it uh, take off. And we had a uh, C-17 right when we were got here and then one right before we went live right before we went live it came in for landing it was if it would have waited just a few more seconds we'd have been good so we're in a fantastic spot this is uh we're gonna get to see all these passenger aircraft taxiing for takeoff as well so i believe they're using it's uh what is it uh, it's a uh, north flow isn't it Yes. So they're going to be using 3-5 right for uh, takeoffs, for landings. All of the military aircraft practice is going to be using this runway here, 2, 9, and 1, 1. And if you're just now joining us, we're posted kind of right in the middle. We are right on the south side of the firehouse, which is about a central location that you can get in this field. And we do want to start out by extending our uh, big thank yous to all of the uh, folks involved in making this happen. We certainly do appreciate this awesome opportunity to be here on the tarmac to bring you guys the Thunder Over Louisville practice day live stream. And uh, good to have JJ Shock, our channel moderator, as a co-host today. Thank you, Sam. I'm a, I, I told him when we were pulling in here, it was like it was like a kid in a candy store was coming across <laughs> the uh, taxiways. <laughs> I couldn't get my eyes off of those C-130s and, uh, and that B-52 that's parked yeah. there. By the way, that B-52, we just learned that there's a big change, so there will not be we will not see the B-52 take off today. But it will be parked here. Uh, so we'll we'll get to see it uh, just a little bit closer than we did yesterday. 
So we'll give you a shot of that throughout the... And for those of you that were on yesterday and saw it when we caught it, it stopped at the end of the runway. And it, was, it was down there for about 10 minutes, and they closed the runway. That's when we had that 747 go around. And what they were doing is transferring fuel um, all the way over to the left wing um, so they could control what wheel was on the ground and get that right one off the ground so it didn't do any damage to the lights of the runway. That was so cool. And that, and that explained why it was leaning like that. We saw it leaning, and we were wondering. I was wondering if it was just... Somebody mentioned it's probably so the pilot could see better. <laughs> I was wondering if it was if something was going on because it was parked down there forever before it back taxi. Yeah, yeah. But if you look uh, now, you'll see it where that left wing has dropped and the, the tire is touching the ground. Yep. It's and that's four, the way. A uh, gentleman here that escorted us in said it's about four feet off the ground. And who's talking about the left side, right? Yeah, the, correct. The low side. Yeah, I imagine the right side is probably, what, 15 or 20? <laughs> yeah, well, it's From higher than I can jump, I can tell you that. <laughs> I'm not getting to the top of that one. Oh, my goodness. Fantastic. So starting just a little bit early, thank you all so much for joining us. For those of you just now coming in, welcome. Texas girl, good morning, good to see you. Foxy lady says, morning, afternoon, everybody. Kyle Lee, good to see you as well. Terry Ashworth says, Woo, been waiting for this. Hi, everyone from Manchester, UK. Definitely uh, an exciting day. I've been waiting. Uh, we've been waiting anxiously. I'm just glad the weather's cooperating. We had some pretty bad storms roll through the area early this morning. In the Louisville area, I believe it was, what, 1 a.m.? Yeah, about 1 a.m. And where I'm from, where I live, it's uh, the storms roll through about 5 a.m. That's a shot of 3.5 right that we never get to see. Yeah. Well, that is awesome. Loretta Mulkey, good morning. Ryan Garland says good evening from the UK. Yeah, for those of you watching in the UK, it is uh, afternoon right now. It is 12 o'clock. The stream wasn't scheduled until 12.30. We started uh, early just because we could. And if we have the opportunity to start early, we will. And um, so they're running just a little bit behind on the schedule as far as the practice but uh hey we'll be here to, t to get it for you guys it's an exciting day ahead Okay. 
Fox 6, contact tower 124.2, speed at your discretion. Have a great day. Appalachian, no, the B, there's not, I don't believe there's going to be another B-52 uh, coming from elsewhere. We've got the one parked there, and that will be the only one, I believe, uh, that we'll get to see today. We we're hoping that we would. Uncle Plank Guy celebrating two months of channel membership. Thank you so much for your continued support. Says hello, Sam and JJ from Indianapolis. It's a nice day. Can't wait to see the military planes. JJ and Sam are awesome. Good job, fellas. Love the channel. Well, thank you so much, Uncle Car Guy. Thank you for your continued support. And when we have Tyler Hatley celebrating uh, two, uh, excuse me, five months as a silver member. Says, hey, and how are you doing? Doing great, Tyler. Good to have you. Thank you also for your continued support. We have, uh, let's see, have a gifted membership as well. It's uh, three minutes out. All right, Casey, 135, three minutes out. Sorry, guys, I'm running just a little bit behind on some of these comments. I appreciate your guys' patience. Mr. George, that B-52 is leaning left on purpose. He did that so they could control uh, the wings on both si uh, on one side and leave the other side high so they didn't do any damage to the runway lights or the runway itself or the area around it. For some reason, I'm not able to find Texas Girls. Uh, there it is, right there. Thank you so much, uh, Texas Girl, for gifting that channel membership. Certainly do appreciate your support. Fantastic support. Thank you once again. Coming up the right side. Okay. So it's going to taxi you. So it's a this KC one. Yeah. Okay. We have a KC one thirty five coming up. KC-135, <laughs> now on final, oh, there it is, I see it. Did you say this one was? 62 years 62 old. 62 years old. Wow. Look at that. it up a little bit. 
It's going to taxi and park where the uh, B-52 and the, okay. the Hercs are all oh, parked right now, which is a new geothermal lot we learned a lot about this morning. Is? Like Looks like he's headed to the guard room. Yeah. Awesome, awesome view. Look at that. We have the Louisville aircraft firefighters going to come out and say hi to us here in a few minutes. Terry Stapley, thank you so much for being a member for six months as a bronze member. I was trying to find your uh, comment to put it on the screen. I apologize. Guys, bear with me today. with a $20 super chat. Thank you so much, Skittles. Says, hi, Sam. I'm so happy to chime in for a few minutes because I just logged in. What's the story with the B-52? Looks a little bit, little off kilter. It is off kilter. Hang on one second. JJ is putting camera B on one of the fire trucks. Check that out. <laughs> we get a little wash down here at SBTV. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> we see these guys operating a lot. That is so nice of them. Very they did nice. that just Take for that us. <laughs> They came out here. Fantastic. <laughs> that was awesome. They came out here and did that just for us, you guys, just for you guys watching. That is the, uh, the fire department here at, at uh, Louisville International Airport. Certainly do appreciate them. All the hard work that they do around here. They are the one on the left side Samantha McCarthy, thank you so much. 
Let me see if I can find uh East Coast Jet 71, Medivac, turn right heading 320 on the 35 right localizer and reduce speed to one. Let me see if I can find Andy, good to see you. I'm gonna be just a little bit uh behind on these comments. There it is right there. Samantha McCarthy, thank you so much for the five gifted channel membership. Certainly do appreciate that awesome support. Chaz Hall, welcome. Or congratulations on two months of channel membership. Certainly do appreciate that, you guys. We have Andy with a two-pound super chat. Says what display teams will be flying over there. All sorts of military aircraft today, including the ones on your screen. So we really don't, the schedules change so much, really don't, uh, Check that out. We try to get the camera on them too. Look at this up close water cannon. Just don't forget to turn it off before you turn, right? <laughs> That's one way to get soggy. That is so cool. Fantastic. Incredible. Right here, you guys. Little bit Muhammad Ali. A special bonus. Fantastic. Certainly do appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. What a view, huh, JJ? Yes. It's awesome. Seeing it from a distance is one thing, and then getting that up close. All right, you guys, this will be our first one, the C-17. This one taken off from runway 29. Check this out. Thank you. 
So they're using the uh, perpendicular runway 29, which would give us. We're right here about the midway point. you guys we have brian with us here's here with the uh airport authority brian i believe is a supervisor here good to have you brian just want to say thank you so much for having us for giving us this awesome opportunity and just wanted to give you a chance to greet everybody watching everybody on the channel yeah thank you for having me this is a first time for uh for this i've never been on tv before oh man you know, there you go thousands of people watching me right now but yeah thanks there for having go. me on we got close to 600 right now which ain't really? bad. we're a little early we're starting a little oh bit early gosh. we got close to 600 so yeah the show hasn't even started yet no that's uh that's what the exciting part we've got uh a lot to see today and that's that's what that's what's so cool about this it's like we don't normally see we will see this occasional c-130 from time to time mm -hmm. and uh i believe we saw the uh which other one i forget uh i forget we, we see a few of them but this is a treat right here to be able to see so many so many and especially from this vantage point too yeah you're gonna want to take the action off of me and then put it on him for a second <laughs> and they never use two nine either, the, uh, so this is pretty rare this is awesome Let's and see. then I think we have a copy of the schedule as well for practice. I don't know if they gave you a copy of that. They did give me one. Uh, they said it's subject to change, so they yeah, didn't. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay. Everything's did, subject to change. Yeah, up to the last minute, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we thought we were going to get the B-52 today. We were hoping. But apparently that one's just going to sit there. That'll be for tomorrow. The, tomorrow, okay. Yep. Okay. Yep, it'll be, it'll be parked up there till tomorrow. And okay. then it's coming back yeah. on uh, Saturday night, and I'll be going out Monday. Okay. And then coming back. Man, that was a treat to see. We got to see it yesterday when we were out there. Yeah, we ended meetings early for that one. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. can definitely see why, that's for sure. Yeah, this is perfect right here about the midpoint of 2-9. Uh, this is awesome. The tower wanted him to take 3-5 uh, right, too, because of the winds, but he opted for 2-9, so I think he knows you're out here. Oh, that's awesome. Absolutely awesome. So I guess throughout the day they could use either one. The way the winds are today. Yeah, yeah. Um, typically with uh, with thunder practice, they tend to use the crosswind runaway just because the way it lines up with the National Guard base. Okay. But commercial traffic will probably stay on three five left and three five right today. Most of the UPS stuff will use the three five, the three five left side. Okay. Yep. Yeah, the three five. That's usually the west side there for UPS. Is mm -hmm. that's where all the mm -hmm. the main. Yeah, that's where you're going to see all the heavies for the most part. 747s. Most of UPS's fleet is heavy, but yeah. Now the seven fours, the UPS seven fours. Do they ever use two nine? To, oh yeah. To get, yeah. Okay. Yeah. They they'll use I've it in the right time. crosswind conditions. Okay. I wasn't sure if that time. Okay, here we go. We'll get this one. Volume up, you guys. Look at this. My goodness, that's incredible. What a view. Man. So 
it's hard because I want to stare in person too, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I've got to keep my eye on the screen. Yep. Well, there she goes. She's going into the clouds just about. Yeah, last year's thunder practice, we had pouring rain, so this is, really? a, this is a big improvement. Even um, though it's not sunny in 75, this is much better than last year. Hey, we'll take it. We had some storms roll through, I know, in Taylor County about 5 a.m. this morning. Mm -hmm. It was pounding. Uh, and I guess about 1 a.m. Was it 1 a.m. when it rolled through here? Mm -hmm. Just yeah. about, yep. Yeah, I'm glad it cleared out of the way because I was worried that it would uh, hinder. 4063 approach, expect runway 35 left, it's going to maintain 6 Hinder that. Well, what a way to start. What a way to start the show, my goodness. So is there anything else you wanted to uh, Just talk tell, about? Yeah, them. talk about, yeah. you know, about y'all's operations, about what, you know, what y'all's role is or are, because I know y'all have a bunch of roles, I guess. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we pretty much, we handle everything on the airfield. So our, our primary duties are, uh, it's everything around the taxiways, the runways, all the equipment out here. All the signage, the markings, electrical, um, all the construction coordination oh, okay. that's going on, uh, constant construction every summer oh. season. Uh, we work very closely with air traffic control to, uh, to coordinate all of that stuff. Um, we're constantly replacing our runways um, because UPS beats them up so badly. Yeah. <laughs> um, and they need them 24-7. Uh, so right, we're right. constantly fighting the battle of how do we replace a runway that we can't yeah. uh we can't permanently close yeah, yeah. so every summer uh we're replacing the runways bit by wow. bit so and uh and, and, and all like that. just chunks do one chunk yep. then move on mm -hmm. to the next thing. yeah we'll go out we'll go out every season we'll find what's most critical and then we'll uh we'll replace it based on that schedule oh cool and then we also aside from the airfield we're also responsible for everything in the terminal all terminal okay. operations as well so anything that could possibly happen at an airport is yeah. in some way our responsibility Man. it's wow. a lot and it's no, no day is the same yeah no i can imagine same. i can imagine yeah. a big job huge job i know last summer when we were setting up there all throughout the summer construction equipment in and out runway closures mm -hmm. construction equipment everywhere yeah so that's what i didn't know if it was something temporary that was just like a one year you mm -hmm. know project or if this is something that, that happens all the time oh yeah construction's a it's a constant it's an thing. ongoing yeah we're always trying to continuously improve everything and there's a lot that you're going to start seeing in uh in coming years up on this north uh northeast side of the airfield okay um, we're realigning some taxiways and creating some new ones and a lot of interesting stuff coming up for our master plan, the 20 year, 20 year plan. So. That's awesome. And then that, uh, that geothermal project is also, mm -hmm. that, is that, that's just now starting, just now beginning? Um, or is it it's been open, it's been running for a while now. Um, right now it's, so it's completely paved over and that's actually where the uh, C-17 was parked and the okay. rest of the uh, aircraft are parked over there. Um, it's operating. Where, the, where that, uh, B-52 is now? Yep. Uh, actually, just to the left of it. So the B-52 is parked on uh, taxiway November. We actually closed a portion of the airfield up there for the B-52 to park. Okay. And then the geothermal pad, uh, it's also our de-ice pad. It's we use it in the off-season just to park stuff. Sweet. Um, it is running. It powers about half the terminal right now. Okay. Um, and then it will be fully incorporated uh, into the rest of it at a later date. So. Yeah. That's awesome. That's another huge, yeah. huge. Don't project. hold me to those facts, <laughs> but that's. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. That's yeah, what yeah. At least things are looking that way. That's yeah. fantastic. I'm not the smart one who designed it. <laughs> <laughs> it takes. Uh, it takes a lot. I'm sure that goes into it. That's, there, that's, yeah, a yeah. lot. Wow. Lots. Wow. Air support is is uh, quite something else. And one question that we do get a lot is: Are there any plans for some any passenger international? airlines do you guys handle yeah, that or is course. that another yeah yeah the uh we're in the process of uh building an fis facility well it hasn't started yet but um it is in our master plan as well um eventually with those international flights uh, we, we need a place for customs to you know inspect inbound sure. passengers and yeah stuff. we don't have yeah. that right now uh, right. canada's a little different because they pre-clear 
but uh, flights from like Mexico, for example, we, we can't process those passengers yet. We have to build that facility. Uh -huh. And then once we build that facility, uh, in the coming years, yeah. um, we'll be able to do that. That's that. so pretty for the exciting. Passenger. Yeah, yeah, that would be, that, that'd open up a lot, mm -hmm. a lot yep. in this area for sure. Because right now it's what, just UPS going to Germany and. Yeah, Germany, uh, Dubai. Yeah, Cologne is their is their European their European base, and then a lot of flights to Dubai, Honolulu, Tokyo occasionally, um, and then just a ton of domestic stuff, and of course the stopovers in Anchorage, which are very very common. Yeah, we see a lot of a lot of incoming flights from Anchorage every day, or mm -hmm. well, when we're out here anyway. So, and especially at night, when we when we when we're out here at night, we'll we'll cover it at night sometimes, and there's. I don't know seven eight of them lined up coming in from oh yeah coming in from uh from anchorage mm-hmm are you able to accept runway two nine for the rnav six zero one that is awesome So yeah, it sounds like um, UPS has their own separate separate deal going on most of the time, mm -hmm. like a <laughs> like a city. It is it is a small city in a way. It's pretty crazy to see at night, and not many people get to see it unless you work there. You really you really don't get to see it. If you if you could picture like what a terminal ramp looks like at like Chicago O'Hare or mm -hmm. like a really big airport, but then yeah. just picture it the cargo version um, at night, like that's what UPS looks like. Yeah. It's it's bustling, but wow. uh, you don't see it because you don't. People aren't out like recording it while they're right. while they're while they're taxiing by. You don't, That's you right. Don't right. See that unless right. you work right. there or you live stream it. Yeah, so. and even then we only see half of it, part of it. Yep. You know, they've got the whole other side here. Mm -hmm. There's so much going on. I don't know where to point the camera most of the time. So we're just yeah, gonna... week week nights we're we're busier at night than we are during the day, honestly. And most of that, I guess, I, I know we've been here. I've I've done one all nighter from like 10 to 3 a.m. I think or 4 a.m. And then the other times I, I would I would quit at two just because, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. But I know that the departures are just as busy. So you get like two halves to yep. the nighttime operation. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. It's it's a sight to see for sure. We're gonna get out here at night again sometime, and uh, people love the the nighttime action here mm -hmm. at, at UBS World Board. Peak season. Yep, yep. That is for sure. That is for sure. Fantastic. Well, we're gonna wait on more of these planes, and uh, just wanted to say thank you once again for this opportunity to be out here. Yeah. I mean, we're we're tickled Anytime. pink. We're we're just we are thrilled to be out here. This is like man. Yeah. Thank you for having me on. Hey, this is awesome. Yeah, man. hey. Anytime. <laughs> as long as you have us here, we'll have you. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate it. Thank That's you. fantastic. Thank you, Brian. Thank you so much. You just have that here. Appreciate it. Good to meet you, man. So that was Brian with uh, the airport authority. Sure appreciate uh, them for extending the invitation to show us around it's good information there huh so welcome everybody please hit that like button let everybody know that we are live it is just now 12 30 just after 12 30 we had uh one aircraft take off just moments ago Dan, did UPS finish the hangar on the northwest side of SDF? Yes, they did. And if you saw the stream yesterday, there was a tremendous amount of traffic that is now going up that uh, yes, uh, up back and forth between. In fact, let me see if I can. World port. Let me see if I can uh, pan the camera over and show you guys because we don't get this. We tip, normally don't get this vantage point, but let me show you guys the new UPS hangar. And it's going to be all there. It is right there. So that's the new UPS maintenance hangar that just opened up. So on uh, the last time, when was it, two, three weeks ago that we were out here, we said we had a 747 taxi right along Alpha in front of us that was leaving this building here, uh, their brand new uh, maintenance hangar. So that's a look at it from this vantage point. Normally it is to our left and we do not see it at all from where we're normally set up. 
which is off in that direction. Normally we are right. Um, normally we're right in there on the other side of the fence. That's where we normally post and set up. So. see a c-130 here just one second i do hear it it's been running for a few minutes has it yeah it started up when you were talking to uh, brian so welcome everybody welcome uh, rj luke darren welcome tristar darren welcome miss wolves 13 all of you guys i know i missed a bunch of you it's been uh, a bit of a busy morning to say the least but in a good way in a good way. So I apologize if I missed some of your comments. Wayne Rasman, good to see you, my friend. It's been a while since we've seen Wayne. Also known as Skyline Wayne. <laughs> we remember Skyline Wayne, good to have you. Uh, Wayne, thank you for becoming a member. I can't find your chat, but thank you for becoming a bronze member. Certainly do appreciate that, Wayne. Good to see you again. Hope everything's going good. And looks like Amsterdam YouTube. Thank you so much, gifting five channel memberships. Thank you, Jordy. Man, awesome support. I'm never gonna find these comments to put them on the screen, but do know uh, we thank you. And we certainly do appreciate uh, the incredible support from you guys, those of you who have gifted. Look at this, we have our C-130. Pair of them. Sure oh, two, 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 three of them. Oh, wow. This. <laughs> yeah, one, two, three. Check that out. <laughs> I'm looking to make sure there's not four or five coming. So that's why we probably heard them for so long. Yeah, there's a bunch over there on that ramp. Yeah. Now we don't get this view every day. smell of jet oh, fuel in the afternoon goodness. and when you're this close <laughs> how about it it's hard to not uh, to not smell it when you're surrounded by it right there are three canadian geese here to our right <laughs> yeah we were just talking to the guys about those I believe those are Kentucky Air National Guard, Bill. Yeah, so there are three in a row. He was just asking if their radio in their truck was too loud. I said, when Sam's got that camera pointed, it's pretty well focused on the <laughs> sound of those engines. I do hear it. Do you hear it? I hear, I hear the radio. Yeah, it's, it's the pretty loud, but it's, yeah. yeah it's, looks like they're going to take 2-9 as well. Yeah, they're coming right up, the, right at us. And they're going to rotate. We've been told all morning that this we are standing at probably the point of rotation. 
What was that first one? They said, ask for, ask for three, five, right? And he said, he'll take two, nine, because <laughs> he knew we were here. <laughs> that makes me feel a little important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yep. awesome, man. Sam, I just got invited to go get some still shots with the, Absolutely. With the fire department. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Go ahead. I'll be I'm, right back. I'm good. Yeah, hey, I'm here. We've got plenty to see here, plenty to cover. JJ uh, got invited to go take some stills with the uh, fire department. We'll be posting pictures, video clips uh, from throughout the day. Thank you all so much for being here. Samantha McCarthy, hello, Mortimer Julius, Evelyn MD, Hans Olav, good to see you guys, Tom Moran, Gus J. Welcome, everybody. So for obvious reasons, I won't be able to, to see all the comments. I'm going to glance as much as I can, but it's going to be a busy, uh, busy day, busy afternoon ahead. But I do want to welcome you all to the stream. Thank you so much for watching, for being here. For those of you just now joining us, we are live at uh, SDF here at Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. My hat's crooked because I keep turning my head. But uh, we are airside today. JJ and I, he's, he's gone for a second, but we are airside bringing you the Thunder Over Louisville practice day right here from the tarmac at SDF. And uh, just a wonderful, awesome opportunity. We're so happy to, uh, to have been given the opportunity to be here. We're excited to bring it to you. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Hope you guys enjoy the show. want to give a quick shout out to uh, CJ Cotta. Thank you so much for the $25 PayPal donation. And then also Samantha Brecker, $10 through PayPal. Thank you guys so much. Starting to do appreciate that awesome support. You guys are awesome. We have a Delta, looks like a 737 taxiing. This one will be heading to 35 right. So there is a north flow today, which is okay because we're in a position, we're right here, posted right here in the middle of um, 35, or excuse me, 29, right in the middle of 29. So just where they rotate. Uh, what a fantastic opportunity. I'm, I am so thrilled to be here. I'm so excited. JJ put it very well, said he's like a kid in a candy store. I'm much the same way. Z Wolf, Brett, good to see you, my friend. Hope everything's going good. All right, this one's on the move. Check this out. Let me. Unless they decided to take three five right, looks like they're heading. Right, 
Yeah. That is awesome. Let's get this Delta. Also taking off two, two nine here. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. So there's a United plane landing on two nine. So we never really see, even on a, we never hear really when the when the winds are just right for a two nine takeoff. Just one second to get used to this this angle. Oh, this is another Delta. Fantastic. Look at this. Welcome, everybody, to the show. We have three C-130s getting ready to take off from runway 29. And I believe that United, that's a United getting ready to take off. So it looks like one of them is turned already. There's a United E-175 also waiting there. And then there's also a um, there's also a Cessna 550 Citation um, waiting as well. That one may take off here shortly. So that United jet heading to Chicago. right here. Seven seven seven, what's your request? 
Center maintain 5,000. 1,000, 15, 21. For those of you who have uh, not yet done so and just now joining us, please hit that like button for us. Let's get those likes up as quickly as we can. A quick thumbs up goes such a long way to help the channel. Thank you guys. We have an A400 as well, turning for final now. Let me turn off my filter so I can see these things. This one here is a UPS 767 arriving out of El Paso, Texas. We normally do not get this type of view. This is fantastic, even for seven heavy, three miles from two cat, cleared on app runway T9 approach. For zero seven eight, maintain one seven zero knots or greater till two cat. Contact tower one two four point two today. Zero knots up to two cat of greater tower twenty four two five. UPS twenty nine eighty one heavy. Incredible. How was that view? You guys taking runway 29. This is our first time covering on a live stream runway 29. And then being able to be this close. Incredible. Look at that, you guys. Please hit that like button. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Welcome to Sierra Bravo TV. We are live covering Thunder Over Louisville practice day and a special edition, an airside special edition here at uh, Louisville, Muhammad Ali International Airport. Thank you guys for joining us. Hit that thumbs up for us. Share the channel. And look at this, look what else we've got here. Look at that. That's awesome. We saw these from a distance. Yesterday, we also have a Germany, a German Air Force A400 coming in now on final approach too. 
So those are the choppers, but I'm going to get on this one because we never see this one. Look at this. I need five cameras with five guys. C-130. We'll have three of these take off back to back. the other. Zoom in and see if it'll catch all three of them. So to be able to, to get them all, I'm going to try to change the focus area of the lens real quick just to grab better focus on these distant shots. But look at that. How about that, you guys? Fantastic. Isn't that awesome? Let me get that A400. Look at that. Activating super zoom. That incredible. Uh, 
59 approach. Maintain 170 knots now, till 2 cat. Heavy turn left heading of zero one zero. So we didn't get to see the the Black Hawk slammed because the A400 was coming in at the exact same time. Look at that. Plank I07, member for three months. Thank you so much for your continued support. Says can't wait for the real show. That will be tomorrow, I believe, starting at 3 or 3.30 p.m. So if you are in the Louisville area, Look at this. The American Airlines One World Delivery didn't even uh, look to see if we're expecting any any special deliveries today, but what a Nice additional treat. Next up, an MD-11 out of Oakland. So we get some uh, little bit of UPS. Additional bonus UPS while we wait on the military aircraft to really start practicing. So the MD-11 is on the way. It's right there. But first, this uh, United E-175. So in that uh, truck there. JJ Shock there taking some pictures, some stills. That's currently his. Uh, So I didn't expect them to use 2-9 for uh, arrivals and departures. I knew they were going to use it for the um, for the practice, the air show practice. But my goodness, look at this. We have a 757 UPS 2923 also on the way getting ready now on final approach a 757. Oh.
to 130. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> All right, this is a 7.5 coming from San Diego, California. Again, sorry about that. <laughs> I was doing pretty good, too. I was doing pretty good up until that point. We have a 767 out of Portland. I'll be sure to switch the, to the correct camera this time. Good way to warm up. Speaking of warming up, it is um, There we go. Having a little bit of trouble against those overcast guys. Getting focus. Very easy to lose focus when the skies are like this as well. Five hundred two Aviation, thank you so much for that two dollar super chat. Certainly do appreciate that. Spotting from uh, from the, by the firehouse here. We are airside today, a special edition, first time bringing you guys the live stream. Three nine Romeo, contact Indy Center one two one point one seven. Good day. Eighty one heavy, increased speed one zero knots. Wow. I'm digging. How incredible, what an incredible landing. We've got an A306 out of Ontario lined up now. I see that one coming in. Then behind it, we have a C-17. Let me try to change the, right quick, let me try to change the focus on the camera. Hang on one second, bear with me one second. All right, I think I'm going to need a, a wider zoom, wider. I think this will do better under these conditions. So this A300 out of Omaha, followed by a C17 coming in for landing here on runway 29. A few trains at, thank you so much. Member for seven months, thank you so much for your continued support, my friends. Says I thought Good Friday was last month, or is today Epic Friday? Good, great action. Super host, great mods, lovely community. Thank you so much. A few trains at. Thank 
What an incredible sight. This is a Boeing C-17 Globemaster III coming in for landing on one, uh, excuse me, two nine. Goodness. You what can say that again. An incredible. <laughs> oh, man. And it's even being this close to these aircraft, I've never experienced anything like it. I'm not sure if you have, JJ. I, about 10 minutes ago, when that Airbus came in from the German Air Force, it, Oh, I couldn't yeah. have been any closer. Oh, I mean, I was right wasn't there. That fantastic. Yeah, oh. I, I was oh, breathtaking. <laughs> that thing stopped faster than anything I've ever seen I, in my life. I, I always think on the same thing. Then it puts the the ramp down, the the cargo. Yeah, the, did, you, did you catch the flight? I did not because yeah, I did yeah. as it was taxiing, yeah. but I was I was I, the C one thirties were taking off. 
at the exact same time, and I was on them. He pulled me to the side of the runway right there. I don't know if you caught where I was I, standing. I, I did see you. I actually showed them where you were. Yeah, that was, that was wild. That is fantastic. That is awesome. We have a 767 uh, UPS 2981 coming in for landing now out of uh, Seattle, Washington. It's cool that it so happened they just changed to this runway for everything. Yeah, when I saw that MD-11 coming in, I was like, this is not normal. <laughs> They're doing it because they knew you were here. Oh, fantastic. Guys, we got 1,200, over 1,200 people watching right now. Hit that like button if you have not yet done so already. It will uh, push the channel out to more viewers. Great way to support the channel. Hit that like button, share it on your social media. Thank you guys so much for watching, for being here. If you're brand new, just now finding us, do consider subscribing. You caught us on a good day. We're here airside with uh, JJ Shock, one of our channel moderators. I forgot I was cold. Yeah, I, 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 I just forgot I was cold. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> I was telling JJ I took all my jackets, all my hoodies out of the truck because the warm weather was coming. And uh, today is just a little bit nippier, but I'll, I'll be fine. Let's see what we've got uh, next. We've got an E-175, United 6138. Arriving here from Washington, Dulles. Andy Taylor, welcome to Bronze Membership. Thank you so much for that support. Certainly do appreciate it. Welcome aboard as our newest member. We've got Adrian celebrating one month of channel membership. Thank you so much, Adrian. It's great to be able to see this fabulous yeah, practice day for the air show. Good Thanks. Good well, thank you for being here, Adrian. Good to have you as always. And if I missed anybody who gave a super chat or became a member, I do apologize. Thank you all so much. We're going to see Koala. Welcome to Gold Membership. Thank you so much. Certainly do appreciate that. Welcome aboard. Good to have you as our newest member. Uh, 
Wendy, KLM fan, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. I believe we've got pretty much all of our uh, mods in today, and one even in person. <laughs> <laughs> Hope everybody's doing great. This is awesome. We've got all kinds of stuff we're going to see today. They really didn't even get started yet. GW, a member for seven months. Thank you so much. Certainly do appreciate that. It says, thank you, Sam. Loving the stream. Awesome planes. Well, thank you for watching. Glad uh, you guys are enjoying the view so far. We've still got, hey, we've got a ton to see today. A ton. We're just getting started a little bit late. Dougwood 67, good to see you. Jeremy Kraft, good to see you as well. Boy, look at that B-52. I do wish we would get to see that one, that too. That would be awesome, <laughs> wouldn't it? But it's nice just to be able to see it and watch it. Uh, we were a little wrong on our height of that right wing. It's probably more like 20-something. Oh, okay. We went under each other. I didn't want to out. Yeah. Happy 4th of July. <laughs> Master One, thank you for watching. Good to have you as well. John, I was told that it, 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 fact that uh, I don't know why I'm not hearing you. Hold on one second. Okay, go ahead. John Bender said it, that that. Uh, I'm not hearing you. Hold on one second. Something's up. Oh, I know what it is. Sorry. Go ahead. It's okay. John Bender was saying that that plane is probably older than its pilots. You're talking about the B-52. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it, it was made in 1962, so I'm going to guarantee I just saw the pilots. And none of them were born in the 60s. Oh, no. or I'm <laughs> no. going to venture to say they might not have been born in the 19s. <laughs> These aircraft, how long they can be in service, fly. Yeah, the uh, the 135s are you know, getting up there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The B-52 really shows some wear on the leading edges of the it, wings. It does it? Okay, yeah. I didn't see that close. Four, four, 
I will say that these folks at the Louisville Regional Airport Authority are very nice. Oh yeah. I mean, what great host. Top notch. What a what a top notch experience. Certainly do uh, appreciate them. That's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. To be able to get this close and then and then bring that live from here is just fantastic. There's a glimpse of that A400 to the right of the uh, that brick building. Yeah, I see it from here. I think that pilot might have been showing off his ability to stop that aircraft in a hurry. <laughs> It did. It did. Stop. It didn't even come up here. No. Even this far. It stopped before it got to us. And they, they he, when he parked the truck, he told me he said, "This is about where he'll touch down." Wow. <laughs> he, was, he was off the runway by then. Wow. I guess he would have had to come in real low at that, at that point to, to be able to stop like that, huh? Have we ever seen UPS use this runway? Not while we were alive, no. On occasion, I'll look and see them using it on, on flight radar. But I've never been here while they were using uh, Maybe once, I believe, uh, there was a runway closure, and I actually saw a 747 Queen land on this one. I wasn't sure if it landed or just tax was taxing from the other side because I didn't catch it. But he said, Brian was telling me they do. See the helicopter? I do not. To the right of the uh, A400. Oh yeah, I do. I do now. Let me let me pan over. Get on the other camera. And where is it at? Oh. We'll wait for it on this side of the. Look at those jets too in front of the. Yeah. The red brick. Fighter jets. There's quite a few of them parked there. Oh, a ton of them from what it looked like. I mean, yeah. it looked like there was a bunch of Mr. George, thank you so much for watching. Glad uh, you're enjoying the show. Certainly glad we have this this awesome opportunity. My goodness, it'd be kind of hard to see from where we're normally set up. Two of them. Yes, sir. Probably the two that came in just as the uh, A400. <laughs> yeah, they coming were coming for a landing. There were two were, of them. They sat down further down.
He might be taken off, do you think? I don't know. Based on where they just stopped, I don't, I don't know. better than that, huh? I don't know where they're headed. It looks like National Guard. Could be the Super 8. <laughs> After just just a small hop over sixty five, yeah. right? Challenger 350 heading in. I believe that one's coming in for landing That's with that Delta. It's waiting on a little private jet. Anything that uh, takes off or lands, look, we're here to take it for as long as we can. As long uh, as they'll let us stay, I guess. Huh? Yeah, yeah, that's right. to get a good look at these uh, private jets, too, this moment. We don't get to see them. This you don't get to see any of this, hardly. No. I mean, we can see them coming in or, or 
you know, right. when they're right. already taken off. But. It's like you've got to choose between UPS heavies or just all the other stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's <laughs> that is definitely UPS's side. There's no yeah. two ways about it. I think the word got through the system, though, that they needed to land on 2-9 if they wanted to get on camera today. That's right. <laughs> that is right. The geothermal lot that Brian was talking about earlier. Yeah. When we took a drive over there just a few minutes ago, he said that uh, that, that uh, is completely full of private jets derby, derby week. Oh, wow. It'll be completely full. Wow. Well, I can believe that for sure. As busy as it gets. German pilot, that is cool. Thank you for being here, buddy. I, I don't know how to answer that question. I mean, I, I'm like, uh, like they dro I'm 10 years old and they just dropped me off at Disney World and I got fast pass for everything. That's what I feel like. So, <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty good way of putting it. That's a pretty good way of putting it. I'll tell you what. We're getting spoiled today. I'll tell you what. Spoiled rock. <laughs> That's why I keep mentioning how nice these people are. I hope they <laughs> listen to this and invite us back more often. <laughs> are you showing it working? Stephen Poland Photography, thank you so much. Gifting five channel memberships. Certainly do appreciate that. And what's going on with the screen? I wonder if from this position we get a little bit of a radio glitch like we do in a CBG. I was explaining that to them when we were in the truck. I said, it's just, I don't know what it is. Got to be some kind of radar or something up there. Does that? It, it is. I'm almost certain it is. Because it's it's occasionally glitching here, and I don't think it's camera related. I. But hey, well, I'll take a few glitches for these kinds of views. I think it's a small price to pay. Yeah, I'm thinking we'd made a smart decision not setting up on the roof of that oh, firehouse this goodness. morning. <laughs> We'd be blown off by now. Yes, and frozen solid. Yeah. At least I would. This Delta E-175 arriving here from Boston. right there yeah this is just clear views as you can get from the landing all the way to get to the terminal imagine if today was a tuesday or thursday with all the ups traffic see there's not very much ups no, going on it's, it's friday i looked at it this morning before i left to come here i knew it was light but i didn't even look i was just trying to make it on time <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think I was sitting in the lobby by 6 a.m. ready to go. <laughs> Wasn't too excited for this. I guess when it pops off, it's going to pop off, right? So they did tell us this morning before we even got started that they are the the practice schedule is running a little bit behind. 
I guess the weather had a lot to do with it. We had some storms roll through this morning. The weather had a lot to do with it. So, they didn't get to start their fueling right. on time. is what. It, yeah, that's, that's what they were saying. So I guess as soon as they're done with that, uh, they, they're going to commence the practice. I'm just glad that the weather didn't ruin the practice day altogether. That's been something to build all the way up to today and then have it uh, cancel out or something. So you got pretty good views up there. Yeah. <laughs> I saw y'all were parked here. I don't know what taxiway that is. I was like, November? Yeah. We parked, parked here in November for a few, and then we went up. And to, then when I saw y'all all yeah, the way we, up there. We went up to golf, and, and uh, it uh, that A400 came in, and yeah. the MD-11 right <laughs> in front of me. That's what I said. I texted Darren a few minutes ago. I said, what do you see these pictures? <laughs> I could tell you what the pilot had for lunch. No, oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. So if we look where we normally set up, just how far we are from what we call ramp one. This is ramp one right here in front of us. This is where the ones parked to the side. Wait, no. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, because that's the other side, the east side. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking we're somewhere between a mile and a mile and a half from our normal location. Your normal location. It'd be uh, somewhere around it, there. It, I mean, you think about it, these runways are over two miles long. Yeah. So they're all taking two niner. Both departures and uh, arrivals. Takeoffs, landings, both. German pilot, if you go back and watch yesterday's episode, um, you will see we caught it. Uh, did a, what do you think that was? 500,000 feet? Did a flyover, the B 52, and then it came around for a Somewhere landing. around there, I'd say probably a thousand. Be somewhere between there. 500 is uh, two. And, and then it turned circled back and, and came in for a landing and we've got it we got it caught and the wingspan so big they had to back taxi down the runway because the uh, taxiways off of three five right were, were too too narrow they and they used, had to shift the fuel remember yeah from, they from had to the, shift the fuel all to the left wing which is why it was rolling on one side and the taxiway right in front of us november used to be a runway and that's what they ended up taking it to November used to be a runway. Oh, I didn't know that. Before, oh, really? Before Worldport was here, that was that was the big runway here. Really? Mm -hmm. And once you're out there on it, you can see it. It was mar it was marked like a runway. Oh wow! See, I, I had no idea. Louis DeHaan, member for six months. Thank you for your continued support. Certainly do appreciate that. We have uh, Michael Culberson upgrading his membership to gold. Thank you so much. It is nice to see this vantage point because uh, normally we're looking at, at these areas, these taxiway areas from way off. Trying to figure out which way they're going to turn and go. Brian, the, uh, the one gentleman that was on camera earlier was telling me that he, he was in the truck that was following the B-52 yesterday. Oh, that was him. Okay, and I he saw said the truck. He, he said he was about 500 feet behind it. Oh, wow. And he said he, he had to back up. He had to get about a thousand feet because it was making him nauseous wow i know we smelled it real strong too yeah, yeah. i can imagine and he was in the truck yeah <laughs> wow yeah jason stone just said november is the old one nine prior to Worldport being built okay a little bit of history
This is a perfect like point along runway two nine. Yeah. Right in the middle, it's right the where the they rotate. Yep. Oh my goodness. These guys at the firehouse have have the views every day, don't they? They do. <laughs> they do. And I saw a bunch of them up on the roof a while ago. <laughs> Which I know they don't use two two nine or every day, but even the other runways you get some pretty spectacular views from here. Probably more so even the uh, three five right. Here we have it. Where's this Delta going? This one's going to Minneapolis. E-175. Keep it on that B-52 for a little bit longer until we've got more going on. There we go, trying to, that buzzing noise should be better now. Nine o'clock and three miles westbound, a helicopter fourth out. Adam, yes, that thing is a massive building. I went by it uh, for the first time yesterday after we were finished on the way back to the hotel, and that thing is a lot bigger when you get close to it. Yeah, I was told about a year ago when I was first coming to find a spot. It was still, they were just starting to build it. <laughs> so it, <laughs> and they just opened it, what, a few weeks ago? Yeah, yeah. So it took them close to a year, about a year. Sun Country was heading here. That one's heading to Minneapolis. There's a Sun Country 737 heading north. We do have Delta 2448 out of Atlanta. That is a daily flight, I do believe. Heading on here shortly. It's a 737 800. My attention. I, I hear one. I heard him say something about a helicopter at 4,000 feet just a little while ago. If you, if you spot it, let me know.
I hear it still, but I don't. I, I don't I, see I it anyway. That's why I'm moving this camera. I'm gonna try and get. Try and get over. There. I'm on the Delta. Okay. okay. Spirit of Seattle decal on this one. There before is that just a regular okay. one world liberator uh, that's not special, uh, I, that's a special liberty, I believe oh, i'm not sure if they consider those you know i believe all those one world ones are, are some sort of special livery i don't think i've ever seen that particular one here i, I think the last time i saw that one was at um cbg either that or the delta sky team matthew dillon if you uh if you just want to take some stills, I would recommend the uh, cell phone lot and get as far as close to the uh, as close to the ramps as you can. Uh, you won't be a couple hundred yards away from that B-52. Parker, Sierra, 645 Bravo Delta with you, 1,300. 645 Bravo Delta, live with a Parker, I get, move on, center 3012. 3012, and there's the idea, 645 Bravo Delta. Delta radar contact, uh, two miles north of uh, Bowman Airport, stand by for hire, your clear direction, Cincinnati Airport. Heading 6, DVD. Direct DVD, I rode out the whole way for hire. Mike, Golf, cross street, I'm right. Hi, Mike, Golf, cross street, I'm right, repair 46, city bus. Koala says he thinks he can see a CH-53 stallion running over on the guard ramp. Let me, uh, I've got this on the guard okay, ramp, and I'm uh, not... Lima Hotel on the ramp. I'll just see that the chopper there. And the, uh, let me move it to this camera. Just to the right, behind that one jet. Is that it? See him? Okay. It's a... It's a Black Hawk, I believe. Well... Let's see. I never did plug in my iPad. This is like being uh, on Taxiway Alpha all day. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I think this might even be a little closer. <laughs> For being zoomed all the way out. But I don't know, because that, that fence, we're pretty close to, to Alpha from where we're at. Yeah, that's true.
Definitely wouldn't have these views for this runway from where we're normally at. It's, no. not a, it's just not a good vantage point. Now from the FedEx lot, it is, but... Uh, Unfortunately, that's not an option. Matthew <laughs> Dillon says the F-16s take off at 340, and the F-18 Growler takes off at 240 for their practice runs, according to WDBR ERB News. One on the go, direct a Mystic, maintain 4,000. I know some stuff is taken off from, uh, <clears throat> from Bowman Field, too, so I yep. think that's, that's where some of the, the action, but that was the earlier stuff. So we'll we'll just uh, like I said we'll just roll with it and take what comes right. Four thousand direct mystic thirty two zero seven five zero two aviation five dollar super chat thank you so much says saw the CH fifty three stallion on the guard ramp as I was leaving UPS this morning. wonder if it is still there or if they've moved Sound of it. it looks like we got about 30 minutes before Do we? okay before, before it gets rolling yeah. okay well, that's not too bad now it's gonna be yeah I'll get rolling real fast once it starts yeah. rolling. <laughs> so about 30 more minutes, guys. Things will start to uh, really moving. I turn right heading zero eight zero. Good solid, what, two hours, two, maybe ho hopefully a little more. <laughs> Once they start moving. So thank you all so much for being here. Certainly do appreciate you guys watching for this um, special edition of the live stream and it is truly a special edition this is not just uh a normal thing yeah it's not just an extra day is it no four five bravo delta contact cincinnati approach one two three point eight seven Yeah, Darren just posted the uh, the list. Let me see if I can find it. I want to say thanks again to the people from the Louisville Regional Airport Authority. Uh, great hosts, been very kind to us. Taught us, a lot, taught us a lot about this place. I absolutely, certainly do appreciate them. Very accommodating. Very accommodating, very welcoming, and uh, absolutely, man. What an opportunity. Darren, I just pinned that uh, message. For those of you who want to check out the air show schedule, it is linked up in the top of the chat. You can uh, get to it if you click that link. It's uh, pinned over there in the live chat. For those of you who are interested, Thank you, Darren. Man, that fire fire, uh, fire truck show was awesome. Yeah, too. that was cool. <laughs> that was a treat. That was really nice. That was so awesome.
So for those of you who missed it earlier on in the show, later on after after the show, you can go back and rewatch. Uh, during just shortly after the first part of the show, we had the uh, the Louisville Airport firefighters come out and uh, and and bring one of their trucks out, and even got uh, the water cannon action. I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch that myself. I was watching the computer screen more than I was the actual fire truck. To go back in and uh, enjoy it again. Guard six four four is full call time. Matthew Dillon, that is correct. That B fifty two is not supposed to leave today. It's rare we get to see them make their initial turn and oh yeah there's usually an obstruction of some sort yeah either a building or trees or a bridge <laughs> boy it's amazing how much higher the ceiling's gotten yes from when we first got here yeah they were disappearing about five seconds after yeah. takeoff yep so that'll be good for our for when it really does uh, ramp up. I'm really hearing something from that B-52 area. That's where the microphone's pointed. Oh, C-130. Oh, I can smell it now. That might be the kickoff, huh? Could very well be. Five hundred two Aviation, five dollar super chat. Thank you once again. Says the One World seven three seven is buttoned up and about to push back. Hopefully, it'll taxi right here on uh, November. We saw it land a little while ago. Oh, the C-130 is moving. I can't see. We can't see it from here because it's blocked by the firehouse. But as soon as we can see it, we'll. Uh... to view pretty, pretty soon. With as bright as the uh, sun was yesterday, I couldn't see it, but it looks like you did some work on the emojis recently. It's yeah, yeah, I've changed some of them, yeah. Yeah, they yeah, look good. A while back, They actually. look good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here it comes. Good. 
What an incredible view. Look at that C-130. You're on. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we got IC3. Probably the three that took off the earlier. Three that took off, I guarantee you. So we have one getting ready to take off now, and let's see if I can. Yeah, look at that. So I wonder if these are going to land. Yeah, that one's going to hold. This is going to wait for this one to land. Here we go, you guys. C-130 action. Three of them coming in for a landing. One of them will take off shortly afterwards. That's a sight to see right there. Oh, my goodness, yes. Look at that. Right there. Oh, they're just, no, they're just doing a flyby. Yeah, how about this? This is what it's all about, right? Here's that third one. Got this one on the ramp. Okay. Once that one moves, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna see if I can zoom out far enough to see the all know, three. Two of them are way off already. Doing flight global departure. Radar contact. Climb maintain four thousand. Clear direct. Mystic standard hold. One disappeared. <laughs> Second and the third. Oh, we got the. You got those? Yeah. If yeah, they're. Oh, yeah, there they are. Check that out. We also have that C 130 on the move. My goodness, where do you point the. I guess you keep your camera pointed on that one. We'll keep I, being on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try to I'm switch between stay the with two. It. All right. Man, 
And we've got the One World livery. Same, we got airborne over here. I've got these. Okay. Get a little closer. You can reach a little further. Oh, there they are. Yes, we've got them. Check that out. CJ said there's a 747 on the move. Oh, yeah, right here on... Uh Back right here, we'll be coming from our left. It's uh, going to clone. You'll we'll be coming over. No, I'm sorry, it's going to the other side. I'm, I'm backwards. Good, you're still on town. Let me see, it looks like it. Hold on. I'm turned around. Yeah, it's looking it like it's going to take off on 35 left. Like take hotel to land. Retrieve the ship, Preston. Like three. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, MJ. Two four pronounces mean. Uh, that's that's seven four, I think, is on three five left, right? I'm seeing that right. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's on the other side. We can't see it from where we're at now. On it right there. Yeah. 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 So take off on, on one one or two nine maybe or a taxi and take off on two nine. I wonder. It could be Marco. <laughs> Marco wants his camera talk. <laughs> I'll wonder. Yeah, that's a that's a different approach to what's going on over there. Unless he's going to the hangar. It looks like it's heading to Cologne. It's it's got its, yeah, uh, it's, it's you know it's on the it. radar. That's the one going to Cologne. I'm on this one world. Yeah. I'll Give American. Me up this, uh, if it, if it hangs all right, we'll be in for a treat. In fact, it might work out. Uh, do we do see the seven four queen? It's 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 either going to head because I mean there's it's a north flow, so you think it would take off from three five left?
If it does turn here or turn the taxi and take off from 2-9, that'll be the first time we'll ever see this. I heard something just say right on golf. So. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, I just heard him say right on golf. <laughs> That's great. This is awesome. This is a uh, taxi way out. <laughs> Well, Marco, if that's you and you're watching later, thanks for coming over to see us. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a pretty stiff breeze he'd be fighting. Yes. He'd that, be, oh, yeah. I had to take the golf course at 35, right? Have a good day. All right, you guys, this one's going to taxi toward us, and it looks like it's taking off from 2-9, right? Yes. How about this? I'm going to fill in the time. A better way to fill in a, a little bit of a gap before that uh, military aircraft action starts. Oh, yeah, that's, the stallion's moving. Right over there. Just to the right of, uh, it's about to cross where that A400 is. Oh, okay. You'll All see right, it. I'll, Just get, I'll get on that. Look at that. further than this. <laughs> this is definitely a taxiway alpha situation. But even better because there's no fence blocking our view. Alright you guys, this is the first time on this show that we are getting a 747, especially a 748 departure on 2 niner.
Martin Smith, thank you so much, my friend. What a view, huh? Yes, this one here, UPS uh, Flight 217, okay. heading to Cologne, Germany. helicopter take off right now see it oh let me see if i can get this one okay there, sam you stay with it all right let me know when you have it i have it there it goes oh fantastic look at that shot wow he's picking up the pace yeah he is look at that I have to turn the other way. Turn the knob the other way. There yeah, you go. Yeah. There you go. Fantastic. Wow. Beautiful. I'm on the queen again. Okay. I'm going to grab this. Still there she this. goes. Never get the same. Oh. She's disappearing. <laughs> Just impressive. <laughs> Just impressive. That was an awesome start with that chopper too. How about that? I wonder if that was Captain Marco. <laughs> Darren says, "Hi there, Captain Marco." <laughs> yeah. That would be something if it was. So that was the first time we got a takeoff from two now, from the short runway, the perpendicular runway. That's a, quite the treat. And it did good too, my goodness. Didn't have any problem getting airborne. No, today. no, not at all. Helicopter coming in above the B 52, see? I'm sure not. Let me get that one. What'd you say? I didn't hear you. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true, especially if it's heavy, right? We'll approach that's only two knots. climbing 
maintain 5,500. Try to use a super zoom and get as close as we can to that. Look at that. Is that the, that's the same one that took off. Yeah, right? it is. Yeah. I believe it is. I'm losing it to the to the building. Right, Captain Marco is in the chat. Oh, he is? <laughs> we were thinking that was you requesting that <laughs> runway, Marco. He, he gives it a 10. He gives that takeoff a 10. Good to see you, Captain Marco. What was the gentleman's name we met yesterday? Was it Gene? Uh, it was uh, I think it was, I want to say John. We met one of your fellow 747 pilots yesterday, Marco. I want to say John. I'll have to give him his name, his last name on, the, on Instagram. We have a mower, another mower. <laughs> I'm looking for an aircraft as a yeah. mower. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep your head on a swivel. Hey, that's right. Ben Schultz, yes, they are uneven. They uh, they did that on purpose yesterday when that B-52 landed. Uh, it got down to the end of the runway, and it's, it's too big for most of the taxiways here. So they transferred all the fuel to the left wing to get the right wing off the ground, so they only had to worry about one of them touching or knocking over their lights. Apparently last year there was four or five lights that got knocked over. That sun might just come out. I hope it does. Adrian, I don't see it. I don't either. I'm, I'm looking for it. If you have a direction, <laughs> we can get there. Oh, I see it. It's just north of, of 17 left. Okay. Went over the river, did some uh, tours over the river. They're doing some kind of water rescue. Oh, demonstration. Oh, okay. Well, you know what they said yeah. on the news this morning. It depends on the river. The river level is really high right now. Oh, Captain Marco says, not my takeoff. I just got home from my trip early this morning during all that rain. Oh, my goodness. That was some heavy pounding rain. Well, we just thought this since that thing decided to come over and use 2-9. I said, that's probably Marco just coming to say hi to us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I see them. They're coming yeah. over the, the building. Let me get them. There they are. Right there. Let's see if we can get these guys. There they are. Oh, yeah. Blackhawks.
wheels up, uh, 1859. Uh, you guys look at that what a treat there's an air boss kind of running the whole air show and i just asked where he was positioned uh-huh he's in the top of the so gold house the oh, down really? on the river yeah <laughs> wow. so i heard those c-130 pilots just asking or just telling atc if they could that they were waiting on the air boss to clear him to come back oh, okay <laughs> like where's he said yeah I guess a good vantage point, a good place to be. Yeah. Wow, so it's like 2.30 already, two hours and two, what's coming in, let's see. An A320 out of Charlotte, American 2149. So awesome. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I know he's 19 miles northwest of Louisville. I missed that one. Oh, there's my bird. <laughs> where? where? <laughs> right over top of the pickup truck with the lights on. See it? <laughs> The oh, I do see it. I, was, I wasn't part. looking high enough yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Man, I tell you what, I'm uh, I'm mesmerized. <laughs> oh, you got that? Let's see. There he goes. Yep. Let's see. Airbus A320. The wind's ripping, ripping through here. Pretty good, uh, pretty good clip and the wind. It's warming up a little bit at 62 now. It was 50, 50 something, so. Charlotte, North Carolina. A growler coming. Oh, yeah. No, no time to switch. Charlie Gulf Mike, American 
miles from the south turn left heading 320, maintain 3,000 foot establish on the 544 clear, on Fantastic, check that out. <laughs> Man, love the line of sight. This reminds me of a uh, skipple, as they say, right? Skipple. <laughs> that airport where you can see them coming way, yeah, yeah. way off, lining up. That uh, line of sight that we typically do not have unless there's a south flow. Let me see if I can. Versus CRJ 700 out of Chicago. American 4856. Thank you, Captain Marco. The great folks here at the airport have given us this awesome opportunity to, uh, to be airside today for the practice day. Fantastic location. So happy to be here. Seventeen oh five at the call house. I got a show it's one thirty eight actually with uh hotel. Hotel Golf Cross three five right, sixty nine and hotel sixty one thirty eight. Next up, Delta 4046, E-175 out of LaGuardia. Who's behind? We got somebody behind him, too. Yep, they're lining up, aren't they? They're coming in. This is a regular afternoon. Arrivals, I guess. Baby Bus United out of Denver. One behind, this behind this one? one? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, sure enough. No Got a Denver. Denver. seeing these two yeah hey, at this perspective you know it's a lot closer than we usually see oh yeah are you completed coming in down to stanford i believe we've got this private jet getting ready to yeah, it's going to get a move on before that 319 makes it continue monitoring the air boss frequency on 20.3 thank you
United. <laughs> the United Jets still in the show from this other one. We've got some sunshine trying to. Yes, we do. Thank you all so much for being here, for watching. Welcome to the channel, everybody. If you are new here, do uh, consider subscribing. This is a special edition of the live stream. Typically, we are on the west side of the airfield. Today, we are streaming from the um, tarmac. We are airside today. Bringing you guys uh, live coverage of the um, Thunder of Louisville practice day, so they should really start rolling here. Hey, Sam. Any time now. Do I hear a chopper? If you look just to the left of that white trailer, the red building in the distance, yeah. you see some of the uh, fast movers over there. There's some nav lights on. Oh, you're right. They should start moving. You're right. Let me zoom in there. Yeah, and I hear a chopper. I see a chopper behind there, too. So these should start moving here in just a few moments, you guys, and the show is on. Just panning shots, if you can, Sam. Okay. They don't want us locked in. Well, here we go. 577 Heavy, you want to stop? Look directly What is that? Down. What is uh, coming in? 577 Heavy. Where? Look where? Look directly behind you. 2,500. Oh, yeah. What's that? A C-130? It is. I guess that's the one to do with a 3,000 foot pass we were just talking about. Oh yeah, that's way out there. I don't even know if I can... I can't even get that one. That one's way off. This looks like it's UPS 767 out of Dallas. It's been a minute since we saw a UPS, hasn't it? Yeah. Since that 7-4, but it's talking as far as arrivals go. Whole different day than oh, Thursday. Gives us a picture of what uh, a typical Friday Four would be here with UPS. This is cool too. Oh, 
says we're about to park at UPS 767, last UPS inbound of the day. Is that the one that just landed? Yes, sir. That's what he just said. Oh, wow. So this American, uh, excuse me, United E-175, United 6138, heading to back to Washington, Dallas. UPS 6109 inbound from Anchorage is still two and a half. That's another 74, I assume, right? I hope we'll be here for that CJ. I, I don't so know too. what the what the rules or the powers that be are going to allow. We're going to have to do whatever they say, I assume. Yeah, they officially gave us till 4:30. <laughs> Hopefully, I've heard something. rumors of an extension, but oh boy, is that some smoke there? Yeah, yes, sir. Somebody's cranking up. Oh yeah, we'll have some movement here shortly. Six, six, six. Roger, you want to go outside the Delta East town on your own? Hey, I think we've got enough battery to last us here till, until. <laughs> we'll take what we can get and appreciate uh, all the time they give us, right? This one's only down to 70, so we're good. Oh, yeah, that one's still got... And the big one here is still at uh, 58, so that one's still good, too. No, one at 82, one at uh, 77, so we're, we're good. Yeah. And plus, we've got batteries in these. If need be, start unplugging some stuff, we're good to go. But I don't think we'll get it because they don't even hardly get to that point on a regular eight-hour... Ben, uh, if you look up top, there's a uh, uh, pin from TriStar Darren. There's a pinned message there with a link to the schedule. We got a chopper. Got two of them. Oh, sure enough. There it goes. Those are Blackhawks, huh? Mm hmm. Six, six, six. 
6 for an alpha, heading uh, 110 for traffic inbound to Bowman. Let me know we can get them in sight. They are 12 to 1 o'clock, 7 miles north down of Cherokee at 3,000. Oh, they're way off there now, aren't they? Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't realize just how far they are when I look at it yeah, through this. There are two little dots in my eyes. Yeah. Oh, I feel the heat. You feel that? Nice, huh? Much better. The wind's kind of died down, too. Yeah, typical Kentucky hey, weather. I'll for take it. We were, yesterday, we were sweating and sunburnt. <laughs> <laughs> Today, it's freezing. <laughs> And of course, I would throw all of my hoodies and jackets out of the truck. I'd yeah. hung around <laughs> for weeks and weeks and weeks. That's funny, Marco. Marco. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> it says here, I got to land on runway 29 a couple of years ago. No room for air or floating, otherwise go around. Just my luck as soon as I landed runway. <laughs> <laughs> they opened up the, the hill of runway. That was good. They did that just for you. <laughs> they said, uh, let's see what this guy's made of, right? <laughs> mm. Oh, I see some blue skies. My goodness, that's awesome. Yeah, I can feel it. Yes. My goodness, what a difference the sun makes. I'm kind of wondering if they were waiting for this little opening in the it ceiling. It could be. It really could be. They were waiting. Because those the clouds are real low this uh, this morning. Oh, okay. Here we go. Thank you for proceeding inbound for our uh, STS water airdrop. Uh, do we have time for one more pass over the uh, drop zone to try the wings of blue? Oh, check that out. What's that there? Look up there. Oh, let me see if I can zoom in. Let me see if I can find what it is on. Whatever it is is ghosted on flight radar. Is that? Uh, it's not a C-130, no. No. I'm trying to find it. I'm searching. If I can get my bearings about me here, let's see. Right. Three, are you asking uh, north side or south side of the map? Uh huh. That's three runway two nine attack me via Gulf. Way up there. Yeah. It's so hard. <laughs> so hard to get, but we'll. Uh, I can't get it on here. Okay, so Sam at the 
approaching the end of 2 9. Oh, yeah. Got some action going on in there. Air, it sounds like. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, look right behind him. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. It's There's uh, two of them. Here you go. Maybe more. I have a feeling it's going to get loud. Yes, it is. Grizzly, grizzly, uh, stand Fantastic. By. Yeah, I'm going to do my best to keep up. <laughs> to keep up. Let me put this camera on. What's still parked? That way you can stay on the... Got somebody coming in. There's a case of 135 lighting up as well. The one uh, coming in is a 737 Southwest out of uh, BWI. The sun's going to play tricks on my exposure now. <clears throat> yes. You know, when I go right toward the sun, it's going to. We'll get it. We'll do the best we can. So that first one there, that prop plane is the course there. It is. We don't see those every day, do we? No. <laughs> Boy, they are loud and powerful. <laughs> Zero local approach, expect the RNAV uh, 29, and after NERV, the center maintain 4,000. 21, use caution about 5 miles northeast of your position. Uh, got traffic indicating 2,500 appears southwestbound. about to get real.
northeast of your position about five miles. I'll check that out up there too. That's that. Yeah, that's that one. I'm looking at the pattern. Look at the look at the pattern you've been flying. Oh wow. <laughs> Let's see if I can. in on it now at least for that one turn so I guess they're waiting a little while we went on the Delta so we can uh, go ahead and take off since they're more on a more of a tight schedule. Taxi to two nine. Two one point one seven cadet. Is that what they just said? Mm-hmm. Legacy flights blocking the end of that taxiway right there, so that's oh, why that Delta, okay. Delta went down in back taxi. Clear RNAV 36, or RNAV 33. That's why I had to go around to the right. Yeah. Yeah. He was on the runway when he made his turn. Oh, okay. Oh, it's hard to tell from here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything looks so compressed. Getting to move on for Boston.
look how pretty it got all of a sudden. Super cool. Oh, yeah. Blue skies. My goodness. White puffy clouds. That's what, where were they this morning? Yeah. Hopefully that'll continue through the afternoon. Gonna be so cool. Derby two four, disregard that. Sorry, I guess where you're not supposed to have you squawk standby, so just disregard that. You got the uh, spirit of Seattle behind right you. Right, well, sure enough, that one's still sitting there. Let me pan over and. We never get to see any of these so close by. Fourth of your uh, six miles from two tax turn right heading two seven zero maintain three thousand still seven on the final four course clear R and F two nine. Look there, squawk four two two five when able. Six sixteen contact any center one two four point seven seven. On the runway too, isn't it? No, he just crossed it. Of course, there's flight just for information. Still waiting on the confirmation for the air boss. I'll let you know as soon as I hear anything. Copy all confirmation of the air boss. He could be at the steakhouse in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, look at uh, look at it over top of the 52, Sam. Oh, One, wow. two, there's four of them, whatever they sure are. Those got to be the, the C-130s. C yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. Right over that river. Yeah, yeah, they're running that box. Yeah. That's a small, it's a wheels up. That's Hawker Beechcraft. 
100. It's heading back to Atlanta, I believe, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, not let my camera get away from me. Well, I lost it. I was stepping on one of my... Where's it at? I don't... <laughs> I completely lost it. Oh, I was stepping on one of my cords. I couldn't paint. I couldn't tilt my camera. Well, I'm glad it happened on that one and not on one of these. Uh... Captain Marco says, how about a shout out to my friend Vittorio from Rome, hey, Italy hey, is in the chat. Well, welcome Vittorio watching from italy rome italy welcome to the program welcome to the show thank you captain marco for that heads up a welcome This is cool. Never saw this one this close up. No. <laughs> Never can see anything this uh, close up. No. Uh, right up Captain Marco, we're you're welcome any time, my friend. Can, uh, turn right direct to show box, expect to hold south of the Gold House. Runway 29 are clear for takeoff. Oh, here we go. Yes. At last, huh? On the move. Stand by, I'll let you know when I have an update for you. Oh, they're going to let the... Uh I can't tell what those are from no, here, I Sam. I can't either. I'm trying my... And I don't have the schedule in front of me either. <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> the Corsairs pulled over, let them go through. take off in tandem are there or no it sure looks that way all right right camera is on it's active <laughs> we're not looking at the v52 <laughs> yeah that's what i was just checking <laughs> we don't want to miss this is what we came for that's right oh boy well, here we go listen to this and they're not even here yet
Oh my goodness, talking about hair standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 they weren't rolling for about three seconds and I could feel the ground oh shake. Oh my goodness. Everybody using the triple wow emojis. That I'll tell you what, if there's ever a time to use that one. Here we go, the Corsair. Did he up get next. clearance? He's lined up. He is teaming up with oh, the two goodness. fighters that took is off he? before okay. him. Wow. How cool was that? Contact tower 124.2. They know the assigned heading. Four. That was for Derby 2-1. Derby 2-4, you're still here? Tower, How about that, everybody? <laughs> 79 year old, that course, 1945, January of 1945. We have a uh, oh, C one C seventeen on the way out. Oh yeah, I thought that was a C one. Two one, the twist to tower was for you, Derby two four took it, but it's for you, Check Derby two one, tower one two four point two. They know you're assigned head Thanks. Now is this the one they were talking about? I runway three five. Three five, yeah, that's yeah. what I, that's what I thought I heard. But either way we'll get a great shot. Oh of it. yeah. Either way. Both runways were pointed right toward him, so Break left over the midfield. Oh, I see him up there. See if I can. Oh, I see him. Now they're they're going back downtown again. Are they? Yeah, there's something coming from the south. Up at or above three thousand clear R nav two four perfect and R nav at two nine. We need five people with five cameras and a split yeah. screen five yeah. ways. <laughs> There's no way to see it all, is it? No. Five, six, we got that follow me in place. Expecting to uh, taxi out to spot seven. Uh, we'll see you guys back here in a bit.
That is a ginormous aircraft. It's been lit up for a little bit. Yeah, it's been lit up for a little bit. I don't know what the instructions just were. I think he's crossing 2-9. Yeah, looks like he's going to keep going and then... Because he would have turned already for sure. Yeah, he crossed 2-9, so this one's taking off in 3-5 right. Which will still get a fantastic view. Look at that uh, view okay. going north. <laughs> oh, here comes the C-130s, uh -huh. just over top oh, of it. Oh, yes. Let me zoom out. There they go. Check this, that out. This could be the uh, mid-turn on 2-9 that we heard we a few minutes ago. Yeah, three of them. There they are. Okay. Okay. The uh, strata tanker just lit up in front of the National Guard. Well, I can't believe your uh -huh. clearance maintains 3,000 to fight for the netting. Yep, it is cranking up. It looks like they're turning to come in. Turn right heading one, uh, three zero. Oh, I'm sorry, I turn right heading two oh, zero. Oh, sure are. So we have three C-130s, and then I bet those come in. These go. Second heavy, cross one three five right. Five right, good match up. Incredible. Yes, they're turning. Seriously, where do I point the camera? Uh, it's you know. <laughs> us again those are those yep. fighter jets doing their, Roger. Uh, lowest doing their thing there is, uh, wow look at this uh, so expect the visual to maintain nine or thousand they're just going to do a flyover yeah they they said to they were going to turn mid Boiler. midpoint on two uh -huh. nine okay i think they're going to turn left i think that's what i heard you know it's getting good when you get the whole fire department up on the roof of the firehouse. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's getting real then. Thanks yes. to those guys again sure for the water cannon show they oh, gave us earlier. That was awesome. one and go with it once they get so close. There's the third one. 
Baltimore, Roger, change of ice, keep through, WB. Older 5-6 out there. Can't get all three of them in one, one frame. So those are the C-130s. Then we have... K-35. K-135 Stratotanker. And then... Wow, they're coming back around. Yeah, I think they're going to come in this time. Well, who knows? <laughs> I didn't get a text from the air <laughs> boss. <laughs> I'm just so you know that. Let me zoom in so if we can see more than... No, can only get one. They've got a little bit of a distance. And, uh, oh, <laughs> that was cool. You know, I could offer the visual for 3-5 left. I cannot offer 3-5 right, though. Yeah, landing nine. lights are on. Oh, yeah. The third one's lagging a little bit, which uh, is good, because then we get to uh, see him. Five, Eastbound a uh, BE 18 6 down. Of uh, your nine miles from two cameras, one after the other. Are they going back? Sounded like they just goosed it. Rooftop, maybe. Right now it wouldn't be bad, would it? <laughs> no. You can actually see probably a 360 view from up there. So, yeah. We have another one coming in. What's that coming in? That's uh, that's another C-130. Yeah, there was four. There was four so on that's there. the fourth one. Then. These three took off in a, in a set this morning, and that one took off a little bit later. Tanker. 
Another fighter we've got lining up. Uh, yes, sir, it is. And Darren, thank you for the heads up. I got that. American Eagle in the mix. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I don't know where to look. <laughs> yeah, look at this. What's coming across back there in the back? Man? That is where? Oh, I believe that is a... Is that our uh, Corsair, perhaps? Probably. Let me zoom in and see. Yes. No. This is a, uh, a Beach C-18. Oh, that's the one. This is the one Darren wanted the pictures of. We'll get this one landing as well. Yeah, can we respect 293? we can't differentiate that. That's due to the I want to make sure we were playing the right thing. 
Bravo with Sarah, two nine one, I'm awake. I do believe we have the KC 135 getting ready to take off. Darren, this one's coming right in front of us, buddy. Roger, uh, contact ground for uh, your push, but I'm going to work on your release. Just stand by one. Okay. KC 135, check this out. We're short at the uh, intersection. You guys want us to enter the ramp via hotel? Get Kilo for parking. Uh, didn't know if there was a floor cut. Seventeen is going to take off. On our oh, right here. Oh, sweet. This is one just clear for takeoff. Yep. Awesome. Take global departure radar contact, global altimeter 3010. Tower to run 291 away. No, sir. You can backtrack this, no, sir. Goodness, how incredible. Right, you know, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that thing got up in a hurry, huh? Yeah, it did. <laughs> Surprised me. I, I mean, I had to zoomed in on this lens, and I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Have you used your super zoom no, yet? No, no. It's too... You got to move too quick. Too, yeah, yeah, I know. I know. If I can, I can keep it still, still for a few minutes, yeah. yes, I will. Yeah. Yeah, the more you're zoomed in, the shakier everything gets. Yes. So trust me, I know all about that. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm <laughs> experimenting, so I'd rather have the shot than it. I agree. Three zero one zero, you're right contact. Wow. One three zero. Another. This stuff's all going to come back. <laughs> yeah, it's all going to come back. That's right. I just hope they come back before 430. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, that sunshine feels so great. Oh. As soon as we get a break, I'm getting rid of the pullover. <laughs> I think the sun was going to be a problem on my neck today. Uh, unable for runway 35 left due to the uh, special use airspace with the TFR for the air show. Expect runway 29. There you go. Yeah, Stephen Billings, they are using uh, the, the same runway for both the, the uh, 
military aircraft and the regular track as well. I think because of the air boxes they have drawn off for the show in Louisville, both the other three five runways would take them that direction. Uh huh. That makes sense. Definitely makes sense. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, everybody. We've got over 1,300 people watching right now. We are at 941 likes. So if you have not yet hit the thumbs up button, please do so. Let's get those likes up. Let's get them up. Take a moment during this little bit of a break here to find that uh, thumbs up button and, uh, and give us that like so that YouTube pushes out the stream to more people. Seven, six, seven. Here we go. I feel like it's been forever since we saw UPS by now. <laughs> When on a normal show, this is what we see the most of. That's <laughs> three mile initial if you'd like to do that. Stay in contact tower, 124.2. We can offer that. Ground UPS 65, 48 heavy is about to exit ramp 2. 4 zero. I think we got two departures. Yeah, Cross three five right to uh, two nine. Have a good one, UPS. Six five forty eight. All right, so listen. Two zero at four. I believe clear to take off. They just clear the jet. Yeah. Uh, no, they cleared UPS. Oh, did they? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have to climb you to four thousand if you want to fly Tango two thirteen to the northeast, reference an obstruction at your eleven o'clock. I maintain 4,000 and join uh, training route 213 on your present heading. Holge 66, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Watching from Stuttgart, Germany. Thank you for watching. David Hibbert, good to see you. 4856 for direct strap. Heavy flattening 270, long range 290 for takeoff. 270, quicker takeoff. 290, yeah, 5548. Heavy 7-6, parking 2-9 across my turbulence. Okay, all cars there. 47 or red taxi. Turn rate heading 0-4-0 uh, vector to the sequence. Check to the uh, Mike Golf Hold Short of 3-5 right there. Uh, runway 2-9, Mike Golf Hold Short of 3-5 right, southwest, 42-47. Oh, southwest. Call time one more time. Probably that southwest there. Oh, I hear a uh, helicopter over that way. Uh -oh. Who knows where it's at? <laughs> yeah. Super zoom here for this one. I think he's doing exactly what the uh, C 130s did. Yes. I think I saw the gear come down. Did, yeah. Sure enough. 
flying around and coming in for a landing. Fantastic. Peter Johnston, $5 Super Chat. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Very nice, very generous. Appreciate that uh, support. Look at that turn angle. <laughs> Just do whatever they want to do. With oh, it. yeah. It's the thing about performance aircraft. What a cool okay. plane. The, uh, the jet just got cleared at the end. Oh, sweet. Southwest trying to steal the show. <laughs> going to turn on November? We're going to get that lucky. Off the turn, pretty... Uh, Close shot. Oh, come on, keep coming. Clear runway two nine back to the guard ramp. about twisted up as I could get. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I guess that's southwest going to take off now. Something coming in behind us. Traffic at 12 o'clock, I'm directing the uh, Warrior at 3,000. Let me see if I can... Oh, that's E-175 out of Minneapolis. Delta. Course, sir, clear, clear to cross 35 right. Affirmative cross 35 right, left on echo, have a good day. 35 right, left on echo, thanks, have a good one, course, sir. If only we had a spot like this every day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to the wonderful people at Louisville Regional oh, Airport goodness. Authority. <laughs> I'm not trying to butter up, I promise. <laughs> oh, they'd have to hire full-time yeah. babysitters, right? Yeah, yeah, full-time yeah. employees to, to watch us. I don't think they'd need them. Nah, they could let us go. We're nice guys. <laughs> radar contact coming in one zero thousand. Traffic 
So this one here arriving from Minneapolis. You want to turn that wheel just two notches to the right, the one in the front. If you can. Yep. One more. Good. Three more times. Three more. Let me see. I wonder if. Let me see why it's not. Uh, Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, that sun coming out now is a little bit overexposed yeah. on that uh, on that one camera. My goodness. Feels good, though, doesn't oh, it? Oh, I'll take it. The wind died down. The sun shines out. Yeah, we got very few clouds now. So welcome to everybody. Thank you all so much for uh, joining us today. Having an awesome time out here. It just, it just now got started, what, about an hour ago when the, the military action really got started? We had some this morning and then like, a, a, like, a, yeah. like a, 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 a bit of a break and then uh, started back up. So I guess as soon as they're done with their routines over the river, they're going to be back. I imagine. But the sun's shining out here. It is uh, feeling much better. This morning it was. Uh, we were just talking about how windy it was and, and uh, dreary. It wasn't super cold, but it was cold enough to get me shivering for just a little while. So I'm happy to see the sunshine. Thank you guys so much for joining us, for watching. Appreciate you all. Welcome to all of our new subscribers, new viewers. Hit that like button for those of you who haven't yet already. Let's get the likes up. Let's keep them coming. We are at over 1,000 likes now already. That's fantastic. Keep them coming, guys. Keep the likes coming. Captain Marco, certainly do appreciate you, my friend. Thank you for being here, for hanging out. Have a great, restful weekend after your long trip. <laughs> Good to have you. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching, as always. Where did that court, uh, that uh, Corsair go? He was back in the back in the guard. Oh, okay. Tango Hotel maintain a strap on C-17 to run. Well, I'm hearing them. Yeah, I'm hearing something on the other. They're not far from no, us. No. And we're probably hearing what happened five minutes ago. <laughs> right? The sound's just now getting to us. Yeah. <laughs> Stephen Poland, photography, thank you so much. What? Oh my goodness. I didn't even see that. Oh my goodness, I didn't even see that. 
3010. You think that's what we were hearing? I guess. I mean, that. Talk about catching you off guard. Oh, they were low. I right. saw their shadows and I jumped. <laughs> Did you see that vapor? The, uh, yeah, the, the condensation. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, there they are right there. There's one of them anyway. They both it happened so fast, you guys, I couldn't even. We didn't, neither camera. one of us knew they were coming. I mean, again, head on a swivel. <laughs> yeah. So there's the, they might do another unless they're kind of coming in for a landing now, kind of like the C-130s. And the, and the Corsair, and everybody seems to be, but I thought I saw a light. Come on. Wow. Unless it, uh. Yeah, the landing lights are on. Yeah, clear to land, so. Man, incredible. <laughs> My goodness, I didn't see them. <laughs> or hear them. <laughs> we, we thought we were over the river. That's got to be the surprise of the day. Yeah, uh, that, that <laughs> definitely caught us off guard. <laughs> I mean, they were over us and past us before we knew what was going on. I guess they're designed to do that, right? <laughs> <laughs> they approach by stealth. They don't leave that way. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That was impressive. Oh my goodness. That that one took my breath away. Yeah. Not now, American, not now. <laughs> yeah, you've been overdone here. <laughs> Man, why won't they do that again? Well, we've got two more fighters out there still. Right in front of us. Fantastic. Look at this, you guys. Yes, sir. Uh, am I correct in assuming we're uh, going to be taking 2 9 about 3 5 left? How awesome. We even got a way to check that out. Hold short of all runways, give way to 
all taxiing aircraft. This question will hold short of all runways and we'll give away to all taxiing aircraft for option 5. There be enough with this option 4, right? Uh, no, that's going to be op 72. Seven point six off Bravo going to op 5. 26 will go and take you to the uh, Gulf Lima Hotel. Lima Hotel, Delta Lima. Oh my goodness. We have hopes for the hotel, Delta Lima. Of course, Hotel, Delta Lima. Oh my goodness, unbelievable is all I've got to say. Yes. <laughs> I'm watching the um, Strata tanker or the C-17 over top oh, of the Oh, yes. Hopefully that'll... Well, I'm still trying to, to, to process what happened and how quick that happened. No, it, it, I've never experienced anything like that in my life. Like, I've never... No. Not that close. So uh, close and so fast see, uh, that before we even realized it. Could you imagine being the enemy of I was, I was that thinking, aircraft? <laughs> I was thinking that too. That would, that would not you be good. It's, uh, there's a reason why they shake. I'm talking about the enemy. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You can imagine the fear that puts in people, you know? <laughs> it's insane. Clear to continue to tag the Fox Track 1 with you now. Clear to cross through right? Zero nine zero, got a box back around here, just kind of for the sequence of the staff at the bow and head heading. Zero nine zero for two tango top. Left thing, one eight zero. Out of Boston. So you said there were two more fighter jets out there? Four of them took off? Is yes, that right? Yes, we had four so, leave. So two um, more. I'm seeing chat say that the uh, A400's Might be a little pinging. bit of a squeeze coming in here. Really? It, are, the, are the rotors spinning? I don't. Let me zoom in for a second and see. Yeah, Darren just texted me as well. Yeah, they are. They are spinning. Yes. Uh-oh. That could be cool. That will be awesome. company one call me It'll be cool to see it take off, and when it lands, it'll, it'll be oh, at the far end of the runway again. <laughs> <laughs> it only needs about 200 feet of runway to park, <laughs> right? Billy Q from Ireland to a two-hero super chat. This is high from Ireland, loving the jets and the noise. Well, thank you so much. Glad you're enjoying the show. Thank you for being here, for watching, and thank you for that awesome support. So we do appreciate it. So this 7-6, I guess, is waiting on the E-175. I'm not trusting my ears anymore, Sam. I'm constantly <laughs> just yeah. spinning. Scan the skies. Well, that wasn't this plane coming in. That wasn't what? That wasn't this plane coming in that just got cleared. That's too close. That's what I was thinking. 
I was thinking, I've never heard it where they were so close to be cleared, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned that there's something to protest, so we're not going <laughs> to... The 5 is on technically Gulf between Hooks and November. We'd like to take Gulf back to the south end of the firehouse. Questions? We'll hold short of all runways for opposite side. Mike Park. 3, Mike Park, right here at 4786. Oh, another UPS. Yeah. That's pretty cool seeing that uh, that Queen, the 7-4. That was really cool. Come up this way and take off. That was really cool. That was really cool. We have a United. We could have taxi from me on National Guard. There's the German. That's the A400 right there. Sure enough, it moved, didn't it? Well, he just uh, request clearance to taxi. Oh, I didn't hear it. I recognize that accent. That A400 is on the move. <laughs> yes, it sure is. That's a Cessna 680, I believe, coming in. It's probably the one they... Cleared a bit ago. Yep. Major. Flying a smaller aircraft like that, looking down and seeing how things stare at us. Thing. Yep. I guess there was only three. I knew we had multiple takeoffs, but I wonder if we'll have more or if they're wrapping it up and they'll just all come in. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> My girlfriend just texted me and said, I hope you had a great day bird watching. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> and it's not over. 
Charlie. We'll call you oh, no, you still so much to see. Look at, wow, look at that. Boy, it, it, get in here in a hurry. Now compare this to the small ones, that, the small passenger jets that come in and just look how fast. Everything it does is. Yeah. It's like we're watching double speed or triple speed. Yep. P fifty one is inbound. Right, it uh, would appear to be Gulf Free, thanks. P fifty one? Mm-hmm. Uh UPS is power hours in full swing. <laughs> <laughs> they are coming from everywhere. Yeah, they are, aren't they? I believe that's the first time I didn't uh, swing the camera onto a UPS 76. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple of things that got your attention. Yes. Sure it's going to do a flyby. Uh, yep. This will do a hard turn. And boys, that got some speed to it. Oh, yes. Altitude and turn. Probably hard to keep up with. First, surely. Roger. It's going to be a regional jet cross in about two minutes. 
Yes. Let's get this united. They said they weren't going out today. Remember? Oh, sure enough. They, there they sit, right there. Sure enough. I see it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Hundreds also. Awesome. Yeah, that thing can get up and get down in a hurry. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. I do see the ATN. Wow. I just verified that they, they said that they were not going out. I said, well, they're sitting there like they're, they, they might have changed their mind. They might have. 
She said they still weren't going yeah, out? Yeah, she, as far as she knew, they were not going. Oh, wow. And I think they're going next. Damn. Oh, yeah. Sure are. Look at that. More UPS. Oh, these might take off in tandem also. Yep. Days all kinds of, full of all kinds of surprises, isn't it? Do a little. <laughs> no, this no. I'm, if that B fifty two cranks up, I'm going oh, to play the lottery. <laughs> well, thanks, Mr. Maintain four thousand. Four thousand. That will be seconds that B fifty two cranked up. <laughs> I, 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 just, I just go straight to the closest place to buy a thousand lottery tickets and I go home and wait to retire. Incredible, look at that. The engines the and those two are the same. They're just government branded. Wow. The same exact engine is in the CRJ 200. Really? I was told that early this morning. Oh my goodness. Who's that? Daily Mesa Airlines. <laughs> A familiar face. You're still getting some UPS in the mix, too. Yep. Nowhere near what we typically see this time of day, but hey. It's strange to see it. There was one more coming around the corner. Is that an MD-11? Oh, sure. No, that's a 7-6. 7-6. Yeah. 20 heavy little with runway 2-9, line of point. Extra time. <laughs> say, what do we do? Do we push our luck? Do we just keep quiet and <laughs> see how long they give us? I'm gonna go ask. Let's <laughs> let's be the do the right thing, right? Yes, that's right. I'll be right back. Okay. The 
beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Another 767 behind that one. And then I believe there's a Delta E-175 lining up as well. More uh, UPS planes. My goodness, we have another 747 Queen. Look at that. Another 74. We might see another one take off here momentarily. So this is a mini UPS departure rush, if you will. Typically on Tuesdays or Thursdays, they are just. There's another 747. There's that right there. It's up to us, buddy. Really? Yeah, but you know he he gets off work at six and he's got to escort oh, us back. So I doubt would be, yeah. I said let's just do 5:30 to make it, and he said perfect. One more hour. That's awesome, man. That's fantastic. Certainly do appreciate that. So you heard that, you guys? We get one more additional hour. So day. nice of them to give us an extra hour out here. We have another 7-4. Did you see that? Yes, I did. I did. Dash 8. Yep. A little mini UPS rush for Friday. 7-3 Southwest, 7-3-7 coming in. So hopefully everything that went out will make it back in by 5.30. I think it will. He, he says it, it's supposed to be back in by 4 originally. He said that it'll probably be back in by 5.50. Oh, okay. Well, come 5.30, we'll shut it down, and uh, it won't take you. But that way we don't hold him extra time. Absolutely. They've been too awful nice. Absolutely. So another big thank you to Louisville International Airport here for inviting us to give you guys, bring you guys this live stream from the tarmac, from inside. So for all the airport details, flights available in and out of the airport, and all of the uh, airport details, it's flylouisville.com. So give them a visit. Yeah, I mean, how nice have they been? Coleman, oh, Coleman met us outside the, the gate this morning. And let us in here and it's been with us all day. Yeah, and they've been here with us all day. I mean, they've just been rotating out. Just super, super, super.
He just told us that that uh, 747 sitting back here getting ready to taxi. He's got to wait till 2-9 is clear. Oh, wow. Because that uh, that other taxiway, his wings will interfere with 2-9. Really? Yes. Oh, come to think of it, this morning it was by itself, wasn't it? Yes. The only one along here. Yeah, it's got to cross the runway and come on our side. So me thinking it was Marco was... <laughs> I, was, I was wrong, but uh, I'm sure if he could, he'd do something oh, like that. Oh, yeah. So that will be a few minutes then, because they're still. Yeah, they're. There's three of them lined up, and then. Uh, look at this. Oh, what's coming in? Is that the uh, C-17? It sure is. So UPS better get the a move 767 on. 767 burger. <laughs> better get is that, moving. Is that C-17 lined up with us? It or is. Is he going to do the flyby? Unless he does the flyby first, because it, it is still kind of high, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's going to do the flyby. All right, we're going to. Four go the seven six. Get you guys a C seventeen. Seven six sevens are one of my favorite aircraft. But the decision you just made is a okay with me. <laughs> <laughs> there are three more. Yeah, lined up behind yeah. it. Two or three more. I do not see. Gear. Well, I can't tell gear down on that plane. I don't think. Yeah, it's gear down. Actually, it looks like it. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. That might come in. No? I don't know. It's an odd angle, isn't it? It is. So big, stop okay. so fast. <laughs> Talk about a, a quick stop. Good brakes. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be right here. Right 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 This location worked out perfect. Well, 
Oh, that four four seven. Look at it. It's they've got two more. They got in a two more. Yeah. What an Airbus and an eight. <laughs> a right, three, couple right. more that it's going to have to wait on. Unless they were talking about arrivals. We have the uh, KC-135 coming in now. Unless it does a flyby, that one seems really high, doesn't it? Yeah, it's about where that... Was it? Globemaster was, yeah. Pretty close. So I think just about everything made it back in except the A400, the A10s are out. Oh, and the A10s are out. I believe those are the only ones, aren't they? <clears throat> that I can remember. Cameron said F16s, but I don't think so. He, they were, he was reading off the list. Uh, around a taxi right by us too. I was seven five screaming out here. Look at this. UPS. I do have to say that they put some thought into where they were going to put us today, and it, yes. it, and it paid off. Oh my goodness, did it ever? Because even if three five would have been used, we'd have been still in a great spot. Yeah. Seven sixty seven with an extra couple of engines. <laughs> yeah. So you go back up to a five mile national. Well that seven four seven. So, he's so patient. Yeah. <laughs> and a fuel bill. <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking. Cause it's just not stopping, is it? <laughs> No, they're not giving it a break. <laughs> no. You think you'd hear him on the radio eventually. Can I please yeah, cross the runway? Right. right. Yeah. 
There he goes. So that's the one that was... I was just hearing that one way. Two coming like in that. soon. Oh, yeah, good catch. Thank you. Oh, they're going to oh, do the. Three, six, zero, one, yeah, one. they're going to do the turn. Which one do I pick when they break away? <laughs> oh, the 747 went to the hangar. It did? Sure looks that oh, way. Oh, sure enough. And we just had some maintenance to be done on it. I thought I was waiting to taxi for takeoff. I did too. I think UPS is feeling neglected <laughs> today. Yeah, I think, I think they're, they're a wee yeah. sad today. We show them enough love. Oh, yeah. RJ, thank you so much for uh, joining us. Thank you for your help today. Have a great weekend. RJ, see you, pal. Turning to a new 
Just something, aren't they? Oh my goodness. Would you like a runway two nine or so we unique looking too. Missing some helicopters, so they're back too. Everybody, um, you know, I can't remember if the I think the black, yeah, they did come back. I think the only thing we're missing is the A400 now. And we'll see if it gets here in the next 30 minutes or so. Switching to North Flow. Switching to three fives. Did you hear that? The restrictions are off. Okay. That makes okay, sense. It is 430 uh, and that 8400 can easily to take three five, five right. Uh, ramp 11. You have a right turn left on runway two nine. Um, I'm sorry, turn south on 17 right. Hold short of runway two nine for right now. So we'll turn uh, left, go south on one seven right. Hold short of two nine for UPS 72 heavy. Now, current runway 35, right, runway 35, left in use. It's been a north flow all day, though, has it not? It has. Well, this morning yeah. it was. Then they switched to this one all day. Yeah. Oh, true. Okay. And they're, now they're going back to the west. Yeah, it is, north yeah, flow, it is, five, it is right, almost three, five, three, so I bet, the, I bet the practice is pretty much done. Yeah, the time restriction. Will yeah. So unless we know on that A400, once these are done... And that's all we have. If it'll be a while yet, yeah, we could wrap it up now. But I don't guess they know unless they hear from the air boss, right? <laughs> unless they know what room he's in down at the yeah. gold house. I bet he's at Ruby's eating a steak by now. <laughs> I said I was going to use that today. <laughs> I have mine in the truck. I didn't take it out because oh. I knew I wouldn't. Look at stuff. I used it. Put stuff in it. <laughs> I got home last night too, and I said, "Oh, I didn't realize how tired I was. I was, I was wore out. I'm wore out again today too." Oh. Not going to pay taxi after all. Won't it? Oh, unless it's going to three five uh, left. Yeah. It might if they reopen. Yeah, I guarantee it's going to hit on over straight. They probably had to top off the tanks, check the tire pressure. Yeah. Wipe the windshield off. 
So we have a Delta there and a um, UPS 76. Boz, thank you so much. A uh, 10 pound, pound, pound super chat says, thanks for the brilliant, the brilliant stream, guys. Bet for sure. Well, thank eight. you so much, Boz. Oh, it did. No, it's taking that other taxi. Thank you so much for that awesome support. Adrian, thank you. We'll see you next time. Derby City Rail Fan, A400 passing over St. Matthews. Oh, what, I, uh, what, oh the A400, really? Mm -hmm. All right. So it's on its way in. So there's a Dissolve Falcon. Looks like it's coming in on one seven right. I'm confused. Three five right. Oh, I'm upside down. I'm sorry. Yeah, three five right. <laughs> I'm looking at it from the other direction. I'm, I'm, I've got it flipped. Yeah, coming on three five right. So they have officially. I guess they're going to let this Delta and UPS use 2-9 and uh, Yeah, there it is. There's a dissolve. 43, descend to maintain 6 out. 502, heavy. This is 502, heavy clear. Yeah. We're just uh, request for relief time. We should be ready to attack the uh, air about five minutes. The uh, A400 on about a six mile final for runway 29. Let me know when you get in the plane. For runway 29? It's it's there it is right, right there. I see it, yeah. Afternoon, well, that would be perfect. Two, one, three, five. What a way to wrap it up. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I believe that will wrap, uh, that will be, the, that way they'll all be in. We don't feel like we missed anything, right? No. <laughs> I don't think we missed anything three no, hours ago, I'll be honest I, I with you. i tell you what. <laughs> it's been a pleasure, Sam. It, Thank you so much for having me down here. Hey, it's been a pleasure to have you. It's been a... Uh, Fantastic. I'm just uh, grateful to have had the opportunity myself. That was awesome of the airport. Oh, wasn't it? Everybody in the stream, thank you so much for your likes, for your support, for being here with us. 100%. It's been an awesome day, my goodness. Started a little bit later, but hey, we're going a little bit later, right? Yep. <clears throat> I want to see how long this thing takes to stop. <laughs> In fact, we even started a little bit earlier. Yeah, yeah, we got started about 45, 45 minutes, minutes early, early so, yeah. yeah. We were out here a good hour and a half before yeah, we before, yeah. Yeah. But setup took a little bit longer just because we were... Uh, we were chatting during that thing right. with the hosts. So this morning, this one took 3-5 right, didn't it? Or did it come in on 2-9? It came in on 2-9 because I was did parked it? over okay. here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this how, is the one that I was like. How could you forget that? This right? is the one I was like, what? <laughs> how did it, how did it, how, what? I mean, it's just amazing how quick this thing stops.
500 That's not 500 yards. That's not 500 yards. Never seen anything like it. That was not 500 yards. It was less than that. It was about half of that. Oh my goodness. Wow, what an incredible day. If you want to turn that camera around, we will do our, uh, in fact, I can turn it around too. We'll do our uh, show wrap up. There you go, it's tricky, there we go. Somewhere in there. We'll wrap it up so these guys can go home. Colin Dutton, thank you so much for that awesome, awesome support, for your continued support, for being celebrating six months as a channel member. Go just a little bit higher. Back up just a little bit here. Let me go higher. Right. I can't see the screen. All right, let's see if I can make this make this work. There we go. Hold on, let me lighten it up a little bit. We're wrapping it up. Yep. Yeah, we think that was the end of the, the military. All right, you guys, that uh, wraps up today's show. Thank you guys so much. It's been absolutely incredible. It's been fantastic. I don't know either. Give me one sec. Fantastic, incredible day, and we just want to uh, extend our thank yous one more time to, um, to Louisville International Airport for having us out here today, airside for... Thunder over Louisville practice day. It's been an incredible experience, JJ. It's incredible. Louisville Regional Airport Authority and our hosts for the day. Uh, Absolutely it, phenomenal. You know, they've been nothing but gracious. Absolutely uh, wonderful hosts, and we sure appreciate it. And uh, Very much. Let's hope to do it in the future at some point, but we'll uh, cross that bridge. <laughs> Hopefully. But yes, uh, it's, been, it's been awesome. It's been so awesome. And uh, thank I've you never again, Sam, anything for, like this. for having me down. Hey, JJ, phenomenal. thank you for coming. Thank you for and being here. Thank glad, you for uh, all the support. Glad, uh, glad that you could make it out here. And thank you to all of our viewers today, or those of you who have logged on. Thank you to uh, all of our new subscribers. Had uh, a lot of people watching throughout the day. And uh, I can see why this stuff is just absolutely fascinating to see this stuff. And being here in person and being so close is, is unexplicable. It well, is. Yeah, so anyway, have a great weekend, everybody. We're going to wrap it up so we can uh, go on back in and, and let these good folks uh, get home and, and get off the clock and everything. So thank you all so much once again. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you to all those who have donated, who become members. Uh, if I missed your messages, I do apologize. We can get to it on the next show. Just uh, send me a message. Thank you. So, JJ, thank you so much once thank again. You, thank you, brother. Thank you to the airport once again. So have a great, uh, great weekend, everybody. Thank you all so much. We will see you next time. We'll be in touch on the next show, either Tuesday or Thursday. Not sure yet, but I'll, I'll post that. So we'll keep you guys posted.
also to our awesome mod squad. Sure appreciate you guys. Thank you to our mods. Fantastic job. Have a great weekend. See you next week. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye-bye now.